What up guys, welcome to another segment of Jacob's Laboratory. Another thing I wanted to show you today, this week, or this, whenever I put this up, I don't even know. Anyways, what I want to show you this time is Frog Fishing 101. The number one thing with frog fishing is you got to learn how to walk it. People say, oh, you just jerk it. You just jerk it and they'll hit it anyways. But you have to walk it. If you want to get a more frog bites, if you want to have more hook sets with your frog bites, you have to learn to walk it. Alright? Because, I mean, you see guys, you see the pros. I, I see, I, I was watching the Bassmaster video the other day, and this pro was sitting there jerking the pee out of this frog. I mean, if I was a bass, that wouldn't even give me time to comprehend what the thing was. So you want to work your frog at a good, steady walking pace. You want it to just be like, you know, and it'll come right to you. It'll still come to you in a decent fa fashion. I mean, don't get impatient, you know. You just, you want to, all of my frog bites, I mean, I'll just sit there and be walking it like a Zara spook. And they'll just, wham! I mean, you know, I mean, that's, that is very important when you're fishing a frog. So, lucky for you, I'm going to show you how to do that, alright? I guess you really got to learn it on your own, but... But I can still show you. I can give you some pointers on how to do this, all right? First of all, I don't really do this, but I heard a guy say say this. So I'm going to show you anyways. You know what guy said? It's when you tie your knot, when you tie your knot and you pull it tight on a frog, make sure it's on the top. Make sure it's on the top of your little eye thing there. It's like that and it'll walk better, all right? Another thing is a braided line. Braided line helps that, one, that helps for your better hook sets and it helps you walk it better because I, I'm not a big fan of monofilament. I never tried fluorocarbon but I like braid. I'm just become a fan. The other day I was fishing fluorocarbon on a spinnerbait, lost the three and a half pounder, line popped and everything. Lost the spinnerbait, favorite spinnerbait in the whole box. I was, I, I almost cried, really did. But uh, so I'm gonna throw it out there. I'm gonna throw it about, about in this water behind me, and I'm gonna show you how to walk a frog. It'd be kind of cool if I caught one while I was doing it. Now prove my point a little more because I haven't caught a fish out here. I've only made a few casts, but still, cast all the key points and still ain't caught a fish. Uh, I'm starting to doubt this pond. If I was with Matthew and we were having an adventure, which is a new segment that might come up as soon as we can find a pond that can catch fish, I would give this pond right now an F. You, I mean, you used to could come in here and catch. Well, Brandon, Brad, that fish that that fish from one of our videos of Brandon goes crazy. The, the big guy with the hat on back was like, "Get out of my face, boy!" Yeah, he caught this in this pond behind me. You used to you could catch fish like that anytime you wanted to, but I don't know. It's really fell off. I mean, it really has come down. It just looks bad. I don't know. Anyways, so let me get to that. I'll show you how to uh, show you how to walk a frog. So. I'm gonna get you up close and personal, alright? So, be back in a minute. There we go. There we go. Alright, see my frog sitting down there? Alright, now you just wanna give it some good twitches. I'll show you my rod tip in a minute. You just wanna. You just wanna give it good twitches like that. Don't jerk the pee out of it. If you you can kind of see it walking there, you just kind of see it walking there. Yeah, don't don't really jerk the pee out of it. Just give it good twitches, and you want to uh, you want to kind of reel all at the same time. It'll walk beautifully, just like that. Like you see mine doing there. Yeah, I've kind of got this down to a science, really. You know, all right, I'm getting in my grass mat, but just like that. Give it good twitches. Let me show you my rod. Let me show you my rod in a minute. Alright. Alright. So let me... You can kind of see... I'm trying to get it where you can kind of see everything. Alright. Now you just want to kind of... Kind of give it good twitches and whine all at the same time. You can kind of see my rod. Don't necessarily yank the pee out of it. But just give it good good twitches and yank it hard enough it'll walk good and it'll walk good I mean give it good enough yanks where to walk good and kind of whine all at the same time just like that you know and it should walk fine all right 
go out and practice just like I said it's just like I said with the uh, it's just like I said with the um hold on it's just like I, it's like I said with the bait caster back on the other, earlier segment you have to practice practice it doesn't make perfect because nothing's perfect that's my view on things practice will make you better all right I, I had a pool before I shot it if you go look at my videos on YouTube you'll see that I shot my pool but back when I had that when I had my pool I would go practice that every day I go practice casting and I would go practice walking that frog so like I said if you can walk it current real fast most of the time you don't even have to stop it they'll hit it while it's walking all right I've had a lot a lot of good bites on walking frog I really have promise scouts honor from I'm not even a scout I don't even know why I did that but anyways, you have my word. If you can learn to walk the frog very efficiently, your your bites will increase by 20%. And I just made that up. It's probably like 40, really. I mean, truthfully and honestly. But I promise. And that's your Jacob's Laboratory tip of the day. Peace out.